Um, you guys might have heard yesterday, if you listened to Jazz's show at the, in the last hour of the program, he had on uh, the Seek Writers of America, a couple of gentlemen from Seek Writers of America, and, and um, they wanted to come on this show as well. And I thought the 5 o'clock hour is a good one because you guys are just hopping in your cars. Some of you haven't been listening to the news today or you didn't listen to the radio all day. So this might be your first opportunity to hear from these gentlemen. So we have with us Mandeep Singh and Gorender Singh. And you said Singh was your middle name. What's your last name? Basra. Basra? Yeah. And do you, do you, and what's your last name? Jahel. Jahel? Jahel. Jahel. H A H A L. H A L. Right. Jahel. Yeah, and there you, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And they've told me I can ask any stupid question that I want about uh, the Sikh, about the, this, at least the way that they practice the Sikh religion, right? Are people mm -hmm. generally the same in the Sikh world? Or right. Yes. Are they? Yes. Are there secular Sikhs versus, for instance, you, um, uh, uh, Garenda, you wear a, a turban on your head. Yes. And you don't. Uh, I sometimes do. I sometimes don't. So it's not a mandate? It's a preference? Uh, it's not mandatory un unless you're baptized and you have uh, unshown hair, uh, long hair and long beard. Um, so that's why it's not mandatory. Because um, you weren't baptized? Um, not yet. Not yet. But you will be. Have you always been Sikh? Yes. Okay. Yeah, but I'm you Sikh just, by birth. You but know. you just haven't. Um, and that's not culture. That's religion. Like that how a Jewish a, person from right. their mother. Is, yes. Is okay. Very so. interesting. Um, did you have a? Would you have a choice? Uh, it is by choice, to be honest. I think we did touch up on uh, uh, yesterday on Jazz Show that it's not mandatory and it's not posed upon by parents or community that you have to be baptized. And uh, it's like teaching, mm -hmm. right? It's like class. Mm -hmm. You you know, start at kindergarten, you go to college, then you go to university. So pretty much it's that stage. You have to learn about the whole religion first. So you have to, because once you're baptized, you're a role model. Mm. Uh, people look up to you, you know, for so, advice. So, Gorinder, you have been baptized. Not yet. Not, not yet? Not. <laughs> okay, so why do you choose then to wear the well, turban? Well, I wear a turban because um, especially my family, my father wears a turban every day. Uh, my brother wears a turban and my son, my wife, she's into religion. Mm -hmm. I just lately started wearing turban just because of incidents of hate crime. And my mind is telling me that if I don't stand with my family, who's going to do it? Right. If somebody is going to try to target my family member because of the way they look, um, I need to wear one and I need to be in public. Maybe I can educate mm -hmm. one or two people or more. Whatever I can do, I need to do it. So if I stop one hate crime, I'm okay to wear a turban, okay. you know, because I was not, my, our religion is not, uh, it, it, my family doesn't force me into it. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, you know, when I came to the United States since then, I've been so busy in working life and trying to get my life together. Mm -hmm. uh, never really focused so much on a religion uh, because one, our religion is very open uh, there's a few basics if you learn about our religion, and the majority of Sikhs will tell you that you don't have to practice all the right, all the uh, all the holy book, because if you um, implement that every human is equal, and they're as good you are, and there's no difference between colors, um, and you work hard for your living, and you're honest to what you're doing, and and you share your wealth with the needy. You're honoring your... You're honoring the religion part of it. Mm -hmm. um, when people baptize, that's when they're... Um, it's more like becoming a God's army. You're not an army, but you're God's army. Mm -hmm. uh, you will defend yourself and you will defend someone else. The um, you know the Christian religion, which I which I belong to, or the Christian faith, um, at least at least as I have, have been taught and as I practice it, we don't you know, like beat people over the head with our religion or anything. We're not dragging people into it. I don't. It, you can take it or you can. I'd love it if people jump in, but if they don't, I'm I'm I uh, you know that's up to them and God. Yeah. Is that how the Sikh religion is too? I mean, are you are you told that you? I mean, I'm supposed to share the gospel of mm -hmm. Jesus Christ with everybody, but whether or not they take it. You know, as between them and, and God, are you are you supposed to proselytize in any way? 
Because um, I don't think I've ever seen a Sikh right. and, and I think going that, around saying, uh, let me tell you. Right, <laughs> there you go, right? I think you said it right, and your feelings are totally correct. Uh, in Sikh religion, that's the beauty of it. You know, one of the beauty, I should say, is uh, you don't go to people and tell people to change their religion. Uh, it's pretty much against our religion, you know, what's our, what the teachings are. Mm -hmm. um, in our religion, the main thing is you're supposed to love and respect every other religion which exists. And you're not supposed to change anybody. They're good the way they are as long as they're good human being and they're doing their hard work, uh, raising their family mm -hmm. right. And so, so every human is equal. So my religion says every human is equal, but there's only one one true God and one true way. Right. And your religion says everybody is equal, but uh, you can you can come you can come to God by many paths. Yes. 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 Okay. Is there a God in the sea? I, I see. That's a that's a similar question that you're asking me. I have been asked many times. Mm -hmm. um, when you so say mine's exclusive. Yes. Yours is inclusive. <laughs> right. Yes. That's yeah. But when you say a word God. Yeah. Word word God doesn't uh, it it doesn't identify it just uh, believing in one religion and one Christ right. yeah. um, it is when you say word of God you and I have a same God it my my religion says we don't but but yours my, says my, we do. my, so my religion right. says that your God and my God mm -hmm. there's no difference to it now, uh, it's just like going Going to a space. Mm -hmm. um, right now, there's spaceships. In future, there could be, you know, different way going to the space. Mm -hmm. But end of the day, God is same. We're choosing different language, different way to practice it. Mm -hmm. But the God has no differences because if you get a blood from any of us, it's the same, same color, man. and you can give your blood. To me, right. and I can give my blood to you or any other color or race. So, in reality, God hasn't created us different. So we have made ourselves different. Um, so, so now let's let's bring in Islam because what's happening with the Sikh community is I'm understanding is that people are getting confused. Yes, and they see a certain look and they think, well, that's all, yeah. you know. And um, and there should be no violence or aggression toward anybody. But uh, please know, you know, we got people got to know who they're dealing with here in America. So this is interesting to me because mine says it's an it's an exclusive religion. There's one way, but everybody's equal, and we all love each other, and yes. and nobody beats each other over the head. Your religion says it's all inclusive, and we're the we believe in the same God, and uh, anybody is welcome, right? Yes. And, and everybody's equal. Yes. The the Muslim. I wish we had a Muslim teacher in the room, but the, at least what we're seeing of it under, with the Sharia law beliefs and all of that kind of stuff says we are the only religion, which mine says, but they go further and you must, you must convert. So that's, so there's a distinction between the three here. Mine says we're the only one, but that's your, that's your situation between you and God. Yours says, you know, everybody's equal and everybody's welcome and theirs says, I uh, know you're not equal. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna, <laughs> right. you're gonna convert or right. else. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and as you said it, right. Uh, so there's a coercive you know, element in that one, where there isn't in ours. Right. And, and there's another thing I really want everybody's listening uh, to um, let them know is, you know, we've been getting a lot of questions about um, are we against Muslims? Uh, I just want to make sure that we give that message that we're not against anybody. We're just trying to save our own skin. And that's how I feel. Right. I agree the same. I'm not after anybody. I don't <laughs> dislike anybody. I just want to live <laughs> and, right. and pursue and life, liberty, and the pursuit. You know, that's and, an, an and the beauty about Sikh religion that that you will um, learn or, or you can talk to any Sikh person that we do not believe. That our religion is the only good religion in the world. Yeah. You know, we believe if you're a good human being. Yeah. 
You're you're already passing the religion and, boundaries. And since mine is based on a, a belief that there was a Christ who died for our sins, yeah. I don't believe that being good gets me anywhere. I, I'm good because I'm grateful that he died for my sins. Well, yeah. I'm not so good. I <laughs> fail. All the, we all fail, right? Yeah. But but I don't do it. I, it, it no, I My God, uh, my religion would say that God would never say to me, well, you were a good person, so you're in. He would say, "Did you? But did you believe who I was?" And so that so that would be a distinction between the two of us. But we yeah. can be friends with that. <laughs> we, yeah, we can get along. All right, let's let's take our first break of the hour. We'll come back and we'll continue to talk to our guests. I think this is fascinating. When you said Army of God, one of the questions I want to ask you about when we get back is, um, does that have anything to do with the the sword that some carry? Don't answer. <laughs> Don't answer <laughs> till we uh, till we get back. Three nine nine fifteen sixty is our number. K M Z R. The Inga Bark Show on fifteen sixty A M and ninety seven seven F M K M Z R. All right, welcome back. My name is Inga. This is the Inga Bark Show. We're talking to Seek Riders of America. Are you guys going to do the toy run on Sunday? Yes. yes. Right on. We've got Mandeep Singh and Gorender Singh with us, and we're just picking their brain about the Sikh community because, or or what they believe, because I, I think it's good that we make distinctions. And you know, the thing is, is with most Protestant religions, um, barring perhaps some Pentecostal or Apostolic, you know, um, we all kind of look this, dress the same, look the same, you know, all that kind of stuff. But you guys take it in a little bit different direction, and so <laughs> it makes people have questions. Yes. Um, and I have to ask, you said Army of God earlier when you're baptized. Is that the is that why the the little yes. is it a little it's a little sword? It uh, back in home it used to be a three foot sword mm -hmm. uh, that wouldn't go over well. But now people <laughs> wear a small sword. It's usually a six inches. Uh, purpose to that is uh, that's uh, when you commit to a god that you're going to be his army. It's not just for yourself. It's there could be anybody next to you becoming a victim of crime. Right, right. And you're going to stand. With that person, now, and you need yeah. to have, yeah, you know, you need to have, uh, an, a means to protect a means yourself to protect and you, others. Protect yourself and now, others. Now, some of us choose to use handguns for that purpose, but of yes. course, when we go into a court building or something like that, we forfeit that, yes. you know, if that's the requirement. Yeah. But that, but I don't carry it out of religion. Yeah. You, you, Sikhs do. Yeah. So can they? Will they forfeit at a? You know, at the, if they got to go into a courtroom, will they? They do. They do. They do. They're, we're, see, this is the beauty of a religion. Our people are very open-minded. Mm -hmm. And that's, so, that's true. So when they get into a plane, they don't carry that um, little sword with them. They take it off. They put it in their luggage and they check it in. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole purpose of it because they know where they have to respect the law. They have to respect the law. Um, when our religion started about 500 years ago, our religion is the newest religion in the world. Mm -hmm. And so when it started back home in India, they, um, you know, today, I, I mean, I had this question in my mind many times that I asked myself, if um, if handguns were accessible back then, I would, I mean, I would assume our religion would adopt it. Right. Because you need to protect yourself yeah. and you need to protect others, you mm -hmm. know. And even in the modern days today, we have a police to do protect us. But you probably heard many cases how many times they can be right there when you need them. Yeah, they you know? can't. They can't. And there's and the criminals has everything in their hands and pockets what they need to commit the crime, but what defenders have in right. their pocket. Right. So it is incumbent in your religion. It's incumbent upon you to be to be protectors. Uh, yes, and to uh, defend. I mean, yeah, that that was the main reason, right? Being baptized and have that, I should, I, I wouldn't call it sword. It was a yeah. dagger. Dagger, you know, yeah, that's, that's a better yeah, term. Right. Thank that's, you. That's the right word. Um, so it's to protect yourself. And you know, back in the days, as mm -hmm. I think Rinder mentioned, 500 years ago, um, you know, you don't didn't have too many uh, handguns or guns. Right. Uh, yeah, you didn't. Right. That's why, you know, I love it. My my pastor, when when he was asked to comment on the Crusades and President Obama saying how brutal the Christians were during the Crusades, and he said, well, you know, back then you're fighting with swords. There's right. only one <laughs> thing you can do with a sword, yeah. and that's kill somebody. You yes. know? So, yeah, it was probably a little bloody, you know, right. and so I, I, yeah. I get that. All right, do you guys mind taking, oh, you'd have to put on headphones. Do you mind taking questions from people? Sure. Okay. Before we do, I have to I have to ask this because uh, Gorinder, you wear the uh oh, <laughs> you wear it's not your fault. You wear the the turban. I have to ask. Um, 
Did, well, if you can put them up in here with them, because callers will want to want to talk to you. Um, um, what about work? If you have a place of employment, I know police departments accommodate, and I think the military accommodates the uh, turban. the turban. But what if I don't know? We've had cases with with Muslim women, for instance, who wanted to wear their uh, burqa to, and I know you're not the same as Muslim, but wanted to wear theirs um, to their job at Disneyland, for instance, and it wasn't compatible. Is, do, do you guys honor that? Do you, does your religion honor that and say, okay, that's the rule at this place of business? Most people do. Um, would uh, you, I guess, would you fight it? Would you be offended by it? I won't personally mm -hmm. if it was me. Mm -hmm. But there's so many people that I, I cannot speak of their mind. Okay. They could just take a stand and say, I'm going to find myself a different job to do. That's what I would, that's what I would do. I know you know, some, and, but if it was me, mm -hmm. I would probably, I, I don't care. I know. know there are some police departments I remember years ago reading, reading about and hearing about that wouldn't let officers wear, for instance, a cross lapel pin. Yeah. And, and it just is what it is if you want yeah. you know, that was the rule. And, so that's, I was and, and one thing that I wanted to clear for your callers mm -hmm. and, and the listeners at this moment, most people think and even yesterday, Jazz McKay show, they're saying, oh, people from Middle East. We're you're, not, you're not we're, from the Middle East. We're not, Sikhs are not from Middle East. No, we're from you're India. Asia. You're Asia. India is part of yeah. Asia. Yeah. And I have, since I've been in the United States, a little more than 17 years, I have not one person walked up to me and said, hey, you're from Asia. They always tell me, <laughs> hey, you're from Middle East. I always get confused, but isn't Israel, is Israel Asia or, or Brit? I forget. Israel is, I think, in, it's in Middle East. No, it's not. It's not? No, it's... Uh, <laughs> I think I, right there on the boundary. boundary yeah, I always forget which one it is, right. but I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. All right, well, let's take a... Thank you for clarifying that. Let's take a call. 399-1560. we got to make it quick because we got to go to the news, but um, ah, what the heck. Mike, lay it on us. You're, you're on with uh, Gurinder and Mardeep, Mandeep. Go ahead. Is this, this me? Yeah. Okay, I've got two quick questions. One is, uh, what is the name of the Sikh's holy book? And the other one is, is if I wanted to convert to uh, the Sikh religion, would they uh, accept me p praying the holy uh, rosary? Interesting. So, okay, thank you very much for calls. We'll answer them off the air. I'm guessing somebody can continue to practice the rosary because you guys are you guys are inclusive. Yes, right. Very, very uh, right. Oh. Uh, I, I think we'll go with the first question first, right? What's I the think name the of first the book? question was, for, what's the name of the holy book? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a guru, G-U-R-U, grant, uh, G-R-A-N-T-H, uh, sahib, S-A-H-I-B. And Sahib G, we call it uh, because we respect it a lot. Uh, J I. Um, so when so you refer Guru to it, Grand Sahib G. Wow, I'm I'm think I'm sticking with Bible. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too hard, trust me. Is, yeah. You'll get you and, can get used to it. And see the the good thing uh, about our holy book right now is available on uh, apps. It's also on the internet, so you don't really have to go buy one or trying to. You can. Uh, uh, look online and you can find apps. It's translated in English, mm -hmm. so it's pretty easy to understand. Okay. okay, excellent. Thank you. Let's take one more. Am I going to Lowell? Is that what I'm doing, Bill? Wilbur? Yes. Okay, let's go to Lowell. Hey, Lowell, you're on the Ingebark Show. Hey there, how are you? Doing great, um, thank you. I just wanted to say I um, I totally respect Sikh religion. I'm a Christian, mm -hmm. but being a an American in this country... That's what this country is all about is, is, uh, the freedom of religion for one thing. And it's, it's too bad that Muslims tend to, uh, you know, abuse that. But I do totally respect your religion. I've been around, uh, Sikhs all my life. Uh, I don't know if you, I call it the West Coast capital of Sikhs, uh, Yuba City. <laughs> <laughs> Yuba City. <laughs> and you guys probably know Yuba City well. I'll yeah, tell you what, right, um, Fresno County, Tulare County too. There's oh a, yeah, and, they're, and they're the, widespread. And, and uh, you know the great, they've been around for years. And you know so my dad used to mistakenly call you guys Hindus because yeah. he, he didn't know that your religion was different to Hinduism. Yes. But uh, I, I will say uh, you're hardworking people and you want freedom of religion. And originally you were persecuted in India and you came here. Now you kind of run India a little bit. But uh, I, I just want to say I definitely know the difference. And uh, okay. you're definitely not Muslim. And 
I'm glad that you have the uh, ability and uh, opportunity to be Americans. Absolutely. Thank you. And, and Thank let me you. and let me add let me add too. A lot of Sikhs are Republican. So, <laughs> Not all lot. of them, right? <laughs> the good ones are. All right, thank you, darling, for your call. Yep. <laughs> Bye. I've gone to some fundraisers <laughs> and some houses where you're just you're in the middle of a of ag land, and there's you know all of a sudden you see grapes, 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 grapes. Bammo, this giant house, <laughs> and uh, and they're very supportive, at least in the because uh, the water issue and stuff. Very supportive in the Central right. Valley. Uh, yeah. Sikhs are all right. Three nine nine fifteen sixty is our number. We'll take our bottom of the hour break. We'll come back with Mandeep and Gorender uh, and ask more questions if you have them. Uh oh, Robert's on the one of our coworkers is on the uh, that glidey thing. What's that? Inga Barks on 1560 AM and 977 FM KNZR. We were so quick, it was so easy to just go, oh, well, they must be looking at the movies, they shoot people. There's things on the ground. Welcome back. And I, that bothers me. Um, welcome back. My name is Inga. This is the Inga Barks Show, 1560 AM, 97.7 FM, KNZR. This country seems to be more and more full of people who are offended by Christian symbols at, Chris, at Christmas time. The Christmas tree, the Christmas all that. Sikhs, you don't care. We don't. Would mm-hmm. you celebrate it with us? Yes, we Your do. children go to our schools, sing yes. in our choirs. All yes. our children, our, our wives, our family members, we were at the Christmas parade. And we've been going to the Christmas parade every year. That's great. And uh, we even participate in it. We provided our motorcycles in. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. My, I think I mentioned this to you the other day. Um, my neighborhood has a lot of people from the uh, Punjabi region. Is that? Is yes. that or it's a, it's a state. It's a state. It's a, that's also a language. Uh, oh. Punjabi is a language that mostly only Sikhs speak. Oh. And uh, we're... Um, Northeast India. Is, a, is somebody who speaks Punjabi necessarily from the Punjabi region? Yes. Okay. I'm feeling better about this. And I, uh, what I've noticed, at least in my neighborhood, is that the grandfathers are so often with the little ones. Yes. yes. Especially little boys. Yes. And, uh, you know, going for walks and washing the car together. And, and is that a cultural thing or is that a Sikh thing? Or yes, or both? Uh, I would say it's both, but I think uh, most of it, I think, is uh, just grandparents. It's in our culture that they just love their grandkids to death. And they just, just, I think, as you said, I mm -hmm. think it's in culture. And when my grandparent, when my mother was growing up, it wasn't unusual for her grandparents to live with the family. You know, we used to do that in America back in the day. Uh, The the people in my neighborhood seem to do that. You have one or two generations. Right. Maybe three. I, and I think uh, it is a cultural thing. Uh, we uh, sometimes we have uh, three generations living mm-hmm. together, or sometimes even four. Wow. Um, That's so a lot of people. We, we like to take care of elders um, or grandparents or even great grandparents if they're alive. Um, so that is a cultural thing, and I think uh, I'm very proud of it. Yeah, the, I, well, you should be, because it's a privilege right. to take care of our parents and, and grandparents. I just wanted to give you an example. My grandparents passed away in 2012, um, early sorry. part of it, 2012. Mm-hmm. Um, my grandfather had five sons and one daughter, and uh, all our family is here. Mm-hmm. Um, when he was hosp- hospitalized, um, there's... 12 or 13 grandkids of his, uh, most of us took the time off and stayed with them Mm 24-7. There was more than three, four people at a time Mm -hmm. with them, taking care of them. And his last moments, he held my hand and he says, I can't ask for nothing more. I have lived my life. Mm -hmm. I'm proud the way I raised my kids and grandkids that when I need them in my life, they're here. It is a painful privilege to yes. be there with somebody in that moment, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Um, I mean, it hurts, but, if but you, you wouldn't have it any other way, would if, you? But if you uh, see that person leaving happily, mm-hmm. everybody knows that end of the day we're going to leave this world. Mm-hmm. We're nothing but a dust. That is, that's actually Old Testament <laughs> biblical. You know that? Yeah. The, the, so, I, so, I think it's Isaiah says so, that. We are, we are but dust. But then I if, usually say we are but dust, but that's a whole other, <laughs> whole other thing. But if we're... If we're um, if, the uh, last moments of your life, you know you're leaving happily, then there's nothing more you can do for that person. Yeah. What's in eternity for a Sikh? Um, I think what, what we believe in is this life comes back in circles. Okay, so reincarnation. So reincarnation, yes. 
Um, and and people can convert to to be Sikh, yes. correct? Yes. Okay. But only was, if they want to. We're right. not asking them, but um, yeah. we will respect every religion and they can stay where they're happy. But uh, I know some people who did convert to um, mm-hmm. Sikh religion mm-hmm. um, and... Um, I, I think they're liking it so far. And the idea of reincarnation. Right. Um, also, our, 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 our one of our holiest temples is called Golden Temple. Mm-hmm. You can Google it. it you, it's in India. Mm-hmm. And uh, it has four doors. And meaning having four doors was that every person from every religion is welcome to even visit our temple. Mm-hmm. And... You don't have to convert to Sikhism to go even visit it. You can go into a temple, any of our temples, even here in town. You don't have to convert to go visit. Right. You can go visit and you can um, thank God. It's the same God that it's inside <laughs> of you. You know, God is inside of us. Uh, he's not apart from any of us, you know. So, hmm. so so back to reincarnation. Um, is it a Hindu reincarnation uh, kind of thing where you could become a beetle or is it always a human like the druze believe you're always going to be reincarnated into a human I, I and they think, and they actually believe you can't convert you have to be born a druze and you were reincarnated so their numbers are shrinking but, right, so, but right. anyway but so is, is it is it do you can you become anything or are you a, do you believe that you become another person another right uh, i might be wrong on this but how i think yes. or how i read it is uh, that you can be anything because uh, how I read it is even a little ant is created by God. Well, yes. So every creature or human being is created by God. So even if you have to go through a couple circles to be a human being again, I don't mind. <laughs> are they? Are, are we all equal? Yes, As, we are. So even the even animals are are equal. I don't know about equal. Um, okay. I don't know what they have value. They have value because they God have made life. Them. Even every, trees have life. Okay. Every Everything life matters. Life. So we, as the superior species, right. have an obligation right. to tend to. Yes, and that's also biblical. But I will kill an ant. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm right. squish. <laughs> and if you're, I'm sorry. No, this is the same way with their religion. But um, just say that you're going to go hunting mm-hmm. and. You want to shoot 10 deers for fun, but you're only going to take home one. No, I want you to eat venison. I like venison. (laughs) We believe that's wrong. Yeah. Um, If you have to eat them for the food. Then that's what you do. That's what you do. But you don't just go and kill, you know, 10 deers for fun and you're only taking home because you don't have a freezer or something. Right. You know. Yeah, that would be. Well, I wouldn't sign. I don't know. any. People should never sign off on that. Um, The children who go to the schools. When I was growing up, you had pretty much Christian kids and other and not. Yeah. That was pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Um, And now I see, you know, my kids, my children grew up with um, young boys who have the it looks like a doily. On their head, right? right? A little called, bun. With in Punjabi, it's called a patka. Patka. Right. And um, and why do they wear that? Uh, underneath of that, it's all their hairs. Their long hairs, they wrap them up on top of the head. And is that from birth? They're growing the hair? That, that's optional. Some kids, like my son, uh, he had a haircut until up to age seven. And you have a haircut. And then yeah. he started going to our church, and he came back home one day, and he said he doesn't want a haircut anymore. Wow. So I never told him to grow his hairs long. He mm-hmm. did it by his choice. And I used to take him actually to get a haircut, and he would say he doesn't want it. But now, so he has a long hair. His hairs are probably like a little more than two feet. He has them for three years now. And he wraps all the hairs on top of his head. And basically, it's like a bigger bandana that he mm-hmm. covers his head with. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only purpose behind it is to keep all his hairs together so they're not all over his face when he's in school. Mm-hmm. Also, it keeps dust and everything else away so they stay neat and clean. And how old is he? He's 10. Do other children ask? They ask him, but I asked him the other day. He goes to Reagan. Mm-hmm. Um, he hardly, any any kid gives him a hard time now. That's good. Yeah. But I, 
You know, I think when we, um, I think we hit a time of political correctness where we discouraged you. Don't bring stuff up. Don't ask that person. Yeah. Don't ask that person <laughs> why they have one leg. Don't ask. It. And I think children, they're we're so naturally curious and it's so yeah. innocent. Right. You know, they're not they don't they're not trying to be disrespectful. Yeah. They really want to know. Yeah. Right. You know. Uh, and I think that's exciting personally. It, it is right. First of all, the parka looks beautiful. To be honest, right. Uh, that's how I feel it. Uh, it's colorful and you know, kids look pretty nice. And they see, um, I like. <laughs> Kind of right? thing. <laughs> uh, and I think uh, you hit a good point. I think it's being a parent, you and me, I think if let's say I'm a different religion, I'm not a Sikh, and my kid go to school with a Sikh boy or girl, which probably have something different cultural mm -hmm. uh, dress, mm -hmm. uh, we should be able to talk to our kids and tell them, hey, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. You can ask the person. Yeah. Nicely, why do you do it or why do you, you don't have to make fun of the kid. Right. But they have a right to ask. Well, I'm eager to I, ask. I don't, I don't think they will be, I don't think the kids will be offended if somebody is just asking them, mm -hmm. why do you wear it? I, you know, the, the Bible actually says in the New Testament, always be prepared to give an answer for the faith that lives within you with gentleness right. and respect. Right. So for me, if there was something that, that signified that I was a Christian and people asked me about it, I'd be thrilled to answer the question. Right. You sure not be offended. For <laughs> yes, yes. So, very good. All right, we've got to take our last break of the day. You guys, I mean, obviously, I've kept you this long. You can stay for 10 more, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Welcome back. My name is Inga. This is the Inga Bark Show. We've got Mandeep with us and Gorender. And should I say Singh after your first name? Yes, please. Every time? <laughs> I am sorry. I would, I would love that. Why, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? It's all good. I don't, I don't feel it. We're all friends. You should yeah. have. I should have. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. Well, you, told, you told me on purpose your middle name. Yeah. And so um, so I apologize. I, I didn't uh, I didn't know. No problem. So I apologize. Next time. Next, yeah, next time. time I'll get a high <laughs> And sing it's so hard to forget because there's are so easy to forget because there's so few. Um, is, is <laughs> I just had to say it. Um, 399-1560 is our number in these final uh, moments. I, I think it's safe to say, just if anybody's wondering out there, um, if you see someone on the West Coast or in Bakersfield, wearing a turban, they are most likely a Sikh. 99.9%. And, and one of the ways you're going to know, too, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, uh, Gurinder's wearing, uh, Gurinder Singh is yeah. wearing uh, yellow, yes. bright, happy, uh, yes. white, red, yeah. right? It, yes, it, it, we're not a, into, we were. It's a celebratory yes, right. uh, color. Yeah. So you're going to see the difference there. In terms of women, if you see a woman in a in, in all black and her face is covered, she's not going to be a Sikh. Very if you true. see a woman in bright colors with probably <laughs> yes. a scarf around her, you know, the same color as her dress thrown over her shoulder and, yes. and, and her hair is showing even, yes. she's going to be a Sikh. Yes. How am I doing? Very yes. good. If you see the silver or gold bracelet, yes. now you're wearing it just a wristband. Right. Uh, I don't have, it's, it's called in, um, in Punjabi, it it's is. called a uh, kada. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a Sikh. It's going to be a Sikh. It's not going to be a, a Muslim. And again, not that there's anything wrong with being, we're not bagging on, on Islam. Just And please, you, you guys already know this. Nobody in our audience is going to do anything rude to, to a, a Muslim or a Sikh. But just so we have the distinction down. Oh, yes. you know. And even, let's go with the stereotype. If I walk into a convenience store, it's probably a Sikh or somebody from India. Yes. Mm -hmm. most, most of the time. Right? Why is that? Your doctors uh -huh. and your convenience store operators. <laughs> right, because and liquor I, store operators. Right, because I think we're hardworking people. And, uh, that is a 24-hour you know, job. 24-hour job, thing. right? Uh, not too many people can do that, honestly. And uh, that I think that's the only reason that you will see us at the convenience store, because we can work hard. But now, there's a young gal at a convenience store right over here who, she's the sweetest thing. And she, I know she's from India. I don't know what religion she is. I can usually identify better with men than with women. But she took like an eight-week vacation. She probably went back home. She did. <laughs> I don't get to do that. <laughs> Hardest working people. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But she also probably pulls 24-hour shifts. That is true. So why do people come to America from, uh, especially seems to be from the Punjab region, but from from um, India? Why do, why do people come here? Uh, I think to live a better life. Um, and I think uh, pretty much because every immigrant, I think, uh, you know, who have, Whoever comes to U.S., I think that's their intention to live a better life and live American dream and be happy and raise your family right and do hard work and share your wealth with the needy. And pretty much, I think uh, 
that's the mm. whole intention, just live a better and, life. And one of the things that I wanted to add on to that one, when, when um, mostly Sikhs that you see around the globe, uh, we're not just in the uh, United States, there's people in Canada, right. um, mostly European countries, even in Mexico, there's Sikhs living in Mexico City. Mm. Um, especially uh, Sikhs have migrated after 1984, uh, that's when uh, Sikhs are only 1.75% of Indian population in India. So you're new to the United States and the rest of the world. Uh, to, to the United States, Sikhs have been migrating since 1899, oh, yeah. okay. yes, okay. but not in heavy population. Okay. There were not very many. Sikhs have worked in railroads here, along with the Chinese labor, mm -hmm. but because there were not many in number, so they're not mentioned in the history. Uh, but in India... Um, Indian government um, has um, killed uh, over 200,000 Sikhs in her state uh, because they wanted an independent uh, country. And uh, we had our independent country before British took over mm -hmm. uh, that region. And when our king died, British took over. When they left, they splitted our country between right. India and Pakistan. And, and then when issue. Sikhs wanted to uh, have their own country... Uh, Indian government used their military and forces and even attacked our holy place, uh, Golden Temple, mm -hmm. with more than 2,000, 200,000 troops wow. and killed over um, 30,000 people. When, when was that? What uh, 1984. Uh, I am... I